Hey, my lovely Cancers. Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I'm your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I really do hope that you hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of the family. So, you guys, I'm back. Um, I do apologize. I did say I was going to have your weekly reading um, done on Monday, yesterday, but... Y'all, I got back from Chicago and was tired, so yeah, but we're back <laughs> um, November 2nd. We're going to see what's going on for Cancers. You guys, definitely make sure you turn on your notification bell because um, I do plan to upload additional content for you guys, make up for lost time, so I miss y'all. I really, really did miss y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. It's a new month, um, you guys, new month new energy new levels new goals y'all we getting ready to close out 2021 so um just i wanted to let you all know i am still running um my month ahead special um for personal reading so if you're interested in seeing what november has in store for you um definitely check out the link in the description box below and use the code november to take advantage of the discount um for the month ahead reading, $25, you guys. Um, and then as well, you guys, look, it's almost 2022. So it's time to gear up for the new year, new you reading, okay? So definitely um, check that out if you are interested in seeing what 2022 has in store for you. So um, check out those links in the description box below, you guys. But let's get right into it, okay? Um, let's see what's going on with cancer. What's the energy surrounding my cancers for today, November the 2nd, Spirit? Thank you so much for clearing accurate messages. Man, I've missed y'all so much. I've missed y'all. Oh, my gosh. Um, What's going on with Cancer Spirit? What's the energy surrounding my cancers today, November 2nd? So, okay, Cancer, we got a disruption popping out. A disruption, and this disruption could be causing a little bit of anxiety for you. Um, it feels like maybe there was a something that intruded in a plan, but, and it feels like, Cancer, you may be taking it to the, like, it's really causing you some type of anxiety, but I don't know, like, I have this calmness feeling too, so I feel like whatever you're anxious about, Cancer, whatever this disruption is... Um, I know it's easier said than done, but it's like, don't worry about it because it is just causing you anxiety for no reason. But let's see what's going on. What messages do you have for cancer for today's spirit? Tell me about this disruption for cancer. So, wow. Um, the disruption is something new. We got the ace of pentacles coming out. So that's why I say, y'all, it feels like um and honestly <laughs> with this page of water here at the bottom of the deck oh yeah okay so it's absolutely thank you for the confirmation y'all the ace of um the ace of cups is right behind it too i'm telling you this disruption like i said it's nothing to be worried about it's like something new starting um with the ace of pentacles it does feel like because it's ace of water and page of water are here too it feels like there's um some type of like romantic message or some type of like romantic gesture that comes in and it's something real something stable definitely some type of opportunity i feel like in regards to love for someone with this ace, ace of pentacles that's why i can't tell i said don't even trip about this disruption because it may be disrupting something like it's like the disruption just feels like a surprise not necessarily like a negative thing you could be um waiting on this though you could be waiting on this offer you could be waiting to start something new with a partner or however um and that's what's causing you anxiety because you're waiting for it <clears throat> give me messages for cancer but it's like look the wait's gonna be over <laughs> whatever it is give me messages for cancer for November 2nd. What messages do you have for cancer? 
So, mm-hmm, Cancer, Five of Cups, your energy. This is where that anxiety is coming in. You feel like you're not going to get a victory in this or whatever you're waiting on. Um, whatever this opportunity that it is that you're waiting on, you you already feel disappointed. Um, but that's, I'm telling you, you will have a victory. With the Six of Fire here at the bottom of the deck or Six of Wands, there will be a victory here for you. Um, yeah, with this Five of Cups. And look, whatever it is, it's like your guardian angel is behind you ordaining all of this, like still has your, your best interest. So you don't have to cry over this spilled milk, okay? Like, leave it down there. Your guardian angel got it. You got two. Um, you still got opportunities here. Yeah, that's that anxiety. Cancer, pick your head up. Give me messages for cancer. For some of you, I feel like you, you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. And let me tell you, so you never miss anything that is meant for you, okay? You never miss anything that is meant for you. Anything that is meant for you will not miss you, okay? All right. Give me messages for cancer. And it's literally like, I love how this deck, y'all. <laughs> I love how this deck is like literally spilled milk. So it's like, don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over the past. Like, get up. Get up, Cancer. Lift your head up like your angels. They knocked over this so that you could see what was re what's really good. Okay? <laughs> Give me messages for Cancer for today's spirit. Give me messages for Cancer for November the 2nd. Ooh, all right. So, that was just a lot. Um, The wise counselor came out, or the hierophant, basically. So, look, um, and I feel like Cancer, that's why I look. With these five showing up, that's a disruption. That's a change. But there's something like you, you start finding out that you belong um like this is um i feel like this is your guardian angel letting you know yeah keep coming like keep going keep going with the eight of water um it's like keep moving this is definitely a new opportunity that's coming in a new change Ooh. yeah okay Give me one more here for cancer. What messages do you have for cancer? Give me one more here for um cancer. For some of you, there could definitely be also too like you may feel like you lack resources. But something, whatever you whatever you feel that you're lacking, it's like you're waiting for it to come in. You don't feel like it's going to come in, but it does. Like, it is. It's here. And it's real. It's can't, it feels something, it feels real with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, something tangible, like money or an, an opportunity or some type of resource for you. Yep, look, your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Water. Your wish fulfillment, Cancer. Um, so, look, you end up with your wish. Wishes, dreams, happiness, as the card says. The Ten of Air. Look, okay. The Ten of Swords behind the Ace of Swords, right behind it, you guys. So, that's what I'm saying. This disruption is closing out something but bringing in something new. And definitely, there could be new inspiration to start something new. Um, but you're recovering, Cancer. That's what it feels like. You're recovering, one, from this disappointment. You may have even felt some type of regret, but you're rec you're recovering from that and you're growing spiritually too. You're growing spiritually too. Um, let's see, but clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is. <clears throat> clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Ooh. Yeah, y'all. It's a for some yeah. For some of you, it's a relationship. 
We got the lovers that came out the night of um, cups at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely someone coming in. Um, I feel like revealing some emotions or making like they're choosing you, choosing a relationship with you, Cancer. This could definitely be like, like it could disrupt what you got going on or like come out of nowhere. Definitely um, could be a king of a fire sign here, Cancer. But, yeah, someone's definitely coming forward to, like, offer some love towards cancer. This can make you kind of anxious um, as well. Because this could be someone that you that was, um, disappointed you before. Like, maybe the situation didn't just go as, you know, you had planned or that you felt that you can control. But, let's see. Clarify the Nine of Cups here for cancer. I'm not going to take that the way it came out, y'all. But it was the world card here. Clarify the nine of cups. I feel like, look, whatever you're wishing for, yeah. Whatever you're wishing for, it feels like partnership, commitment, reconciliation. With the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower that came out. So I'm telling you, this is like wish fulfillment. Like, I'm telling you, you get your wish out of nowhere. It's like you've been... You've been thinking on it, praying on it, like manifesting, praying about it. But yeah, there's some type of life change here. And that feels like in regards to your love life, partnership. So pick your head up, Cancer. Okay? Pick your head up. This this disruption. Um, and it's it's like spirit led. This um connection is definitely like um, someone's soulmate here, like a spiritual connection here for sure. And it feels like, you know, this person or you, Cancer, may have just like come to this realization. That's why it can be kind of like a shocker. Um, but there is definitely a big life change in regards to this wish fulfillment. So, Cancer, exciting. I can't wait. I'm getting ready to do some, um, some general readings for the month and see what's coming up in this new moon in scorpio you guys yeah getting ready to do the new moon in scorpio reading as well and this new moon in scorpio is going to be in the house of romance for cancer so this could you know this could definitely be happening now or soon okay something just had to go flying hold on y'all okay so peace came out it says calm your thoughts yeah because you're anxious right now Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love, okay? Relax and do not worry about anything for all is well, okay? Cancer, like, you don't have to worry about this. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. Like, you've earned this. You've earned this. And y'all, if this is love, okay. Hold on. So, trust came out as well. It says, you are looking um, at a situation from a purely physical perspective. And therefore, you cannot see the bigger picture. That's where that anxiety is coming in, Cancer. And the blessings interwoven within this event. Within this tower event, okay? There's a blessing in this. We, your angels, urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible let go of your fear and apprehension and allow god's healing energy to flow to you trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible you never thought this was possible cancer like look you you didn't think that you would get your wish fulfillment but you do and that's why it's a disruption because it's like it comes out of nowhere because you are not expecting to get what you want it's like you've already accepted that you either don't deserve to get it like you, it's like you're already disappointed because you think that maybe it didn't come in the time frame that you were thinking or like the situation just doesn't look like it's going to happen. But you're looking at it from a purely physical perspective. It's some, it's some, it's some, it's some spiritual, it's some spiritual stuff going on in this situation too. Like, like you got to look at it. It's a, it's a bigger picture cancer. Okay. Let's get one more, one more. Okay. See, yeah, definitely. Okay, look, relax. So the anxiety is at all time high cancer. Relax, <laughs> relax. It says there is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. 
Imagine yourself bathed in a golden light flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. Um, you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life. And which is that? Love. So yeah, Cancer, I feel like love is going to be the theme for, for Cancers this month, honestly. And definitely it's like, it is, your guardian angel is like here, moving you into this new situation in regards to love. Your love life is definitely changing move into the next level it could definitely come as some sort of surprise because of this disruption energy the tower coming out but y'all look it's only a matter of time with this little hourglass and it only got a little bit of sand left so it's only a matter of time okay um but i'm gonna leave it right there um i really do hope that the reading resonated with someone you found it helpful please like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already um hit your notification bell so you're notified when i upload other readings for your sign check out the links below if you're interested in a personal reading um but in the meantime in between time until next time love you